Hey everybody, Ashton here with 10 Cents with another fragrance review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from a niche house that I've actually started to really like over the last few months. The house is Aiden Bob, the fragrance is Nuit de Megève. Alright guys, let's go ahead and check out this presentation. So the coloration is kind of cream colored here on the front, it's black on the back of the box. You have the name of the house and fragrance. On the back you have the batch code here underneath the barcode. It opens up like so. I've already opened it so I don't have to struggle with it. You have a story here underneath the front of the box that tries to kind of say what the fragrance is about. And then you have this little slip of paper. Lift that up and there is a silhouette of the bottle cut into this foam kind of protectant and that's where the bottle sits in. The bottle is the same as pretty much all Aiden Bob fragrances. It looks nice. You have this raised sticker on the front that has the name of the fragrance and house. The cap looks like it would be a heavy metal, but it's not. It's actually pretty lightweight. It doesn't snap into place, but you can pick it up with the cap because it's really snug. The atomizer is quite good, as you can see there. And then your batch code is right here on the bottom of the bottle at the very top. That is the presentation for Aiton Bob Nuit de Megève. I really like the presentation. I like all the Aiton Bob presentations. They're kind of simple, but classic. This fragrance is earthy and slightly green off the top. Pettigrain and vetiver are the two main notes. Pettigrain is adding a little bit of that green feeling that you get off the top. The vetiver is earthy, not dirty, and a little bit rounded off at the edges. It doesn't come across as really aggressive is what I'm trying to say. Oris starts to peek in a little bit as you hit the mid. There's also the tiniest, tiniest bit of a coffee note, and I mean the tiniest bit. It's mainly Oris and Vetiver at this point. The Oris kind of peeks in and out, but this remains a Vetiver fragrance. Through the top to the mid to the base, Vetiver is the main note here. In the dry down, you have that Vetiver, still earthy, not dirty, with a little bit of a clean musk, and a very green tobacco leaf. And that tobacco leaf is not a prominent note. It's just there in the background. It, it lends a little bit of a nuance. There's no sweetness here, no smokiness here. It's mainly that earthy vetiver. And then you have notes that come in and out as the fragrance goes from top to dry down, lending nuances here and there. But that earthy vetiver is the main player for the entirety of the fragrance. Once you've hit about four hours in, that vetiver has lost a bit of that earthiness. It becomes more of a green smelling vetiver with a clean musk, and it stays that way for the rest of the fragrance's lifespan. Longevity wise, I'm pulling six to six and a half hours each time that I've worn the fragrance. So it's good, but not amazing. Projection is more on the moderate side of things. It's best in the first hour and a half, but the way that this fragrance comes across this isn't really one that you would want to just project out and blow out a room. This is one that comes across more sophisticated, more refined, better for formal settings. So it's not something that you really would want to choke people out with and go beast mode with. Like I just said, this leans a little bit formal. You could wear it casually pretty easily. It's just a little more sophisticated, a little more refined. So it comes across as something that would be worn formally or at least semi-formally. Smells like something that would be better for somebody 25 years and up, but if this sounds interesting to you, don't let that scare you off. Age is just a number, and this isn't something that comes across smelling old or dated to me. This is gonna be for somebody that likes a, a little bit of an earthy vetiver with orris, pedigrain, and musk nuances, but vetiver is the main note. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should definitely check this out. So this fragrance actually took me by surprise a little bit. It wasn't really what I was expecting. When you read the description of the fragrance, it says that it's supposed to capture the smell of mountain air, wood burning in a fireplace, things along those lines. So I was expecting like a really dark fragrance with maybe some sort of a smoky nuance, uh, you know, maybe a really pine kind of scent, and it's not. Uh, that being said, it is a really good fragrance. So. I don't really care <laughs> that it doesn't really match what they're trying to put across in the story. For me, this is a really solid, sophisticated vetiver fragrance. It's really well done, smells really nice, 
it keeps the projection a little closer to you but i think that the way that this would be pulled off it suits that so for me this is going to be a 7.5 out of 10. i think it's a really good fragrance like i've said before if you're into vetiver if you're into fragrances that are centered around that note you should check this out i've had my wife smell this too she gives it a thumbs up i didn't ask her for a one through ten i just had her smell it the first couple of days that i was wearing this she did concur that it's something that would work better uh, with us going to an event you know something that maybe i'm wearing uh, a sport coat that it would work really well in a situation like that. And I do wanna let you guys know that this was provided to me by Euro Perfumes, where this just came out. They sent this to me so I could check it out and have a review ready to go for the release of the fragrance. And I was glad to do so for you guys. Um, like usual, it doesn't affect my feelings on the fragrance or my rating or anything like that. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase this fragrance if you're interested in it, as well as a 15% off code. All right, guys, that's my take on Nuit de Megev by Aiton Bob. It's another fragrance I really like from this house. So far, I have not found one that I dislike, and I've tried them all at this point. If you have smelled this fragrance or others from the house, let me know what you think about them. As always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.